What's up, everybody? My name is Seth. This is Modestly Minimal. And today we're talking all about how to build your entire closet around one single brand. Now, it's no secret that on this channel, I absolutely love Built Basics. I mean, Built Basics t-shirt, Built Basics overshirt, Built Basics pants, Built Basics underwear. Like, my closet is built around Built Basics. They're, they're not sponsoring me to say any of this. And none of the clothes they have sent me they have sent me for free, for a review, for anything. I've purchased everything because that's how much I believe in this brand. So let's get into what three things make a brand good to build your minimalist closet around. Well, for me, those three things are not in any particular order, but the first is making sure that your clothes are going to look good and make you feel good. So what I recommend for you to do in, in this category is really start looking at things that you can say, this outfit looks good on me and this outfit makes me feel good. Because a lot of times there's a difference. You find a lot of clothes that are nice looking clothes, but they may not look good on you. If you need somebody else to kind of give you opinions, reach out to somebody else or if you go to a store or if you're shopping online, reach out to that brand, whether customer service or on their social media and get them to tell you how you look in these things. Now, sometimes you may be able to find pictures of people with, you know, similar body types, um, similar looks to you and you can kind of gauge off of that. For most of us, we don't look like models, so that's not the case. Number two is make sure that you're spending your money responsibly, but you also want to make sure that the clothes you buy are going to last. I have no problem paying double, triple, quadruple for a shirt, a top, or pants, if those things are going to last me three to five years, I've paid upwards of $60 for a single t-shirt from Buck Mason, and I've paid as little as like five bucks for a t-shirt from Hanes. And the Buck Mason shirt has lasted me years. The Hanes died after about six months of wearing and washing. So... A lot of people will say, oh, I'll just buy the cheap shirts from Walmart. I can keep buying them. But $15 every six to eight months, if you're harder on shirts every three months, that adds up over time. Whereas if you spend your money responsibly with clothing, I feel like a lot of times, it's not always the case, you're really getting what you pay for. And for me, Built Basics, their shirts are like 28 bucks. They're always doing sales. You can use any of the links in the description to get $10 off your order. So there you're paying $18. Right now at the time of this video, they're 21 bucks. So $11 for one of their shirts. I've had their shirts now for two and a half years, the same shirts, and they've all held up. I put them through abuse because I want to ruin them because I want to be able to come to the viewers watching these videos and say, don't buy this, buy this. You know, I have another video on True Classic Tees. They're incredibly cheap t-shirts. They look good. They just don't last. The material is just not great. So for me, Belt Basics fits that category of it makes me look good. It makes me feel good. And I feel like I'm spending my money adequately. And for other things like this overshirt is just over $100. Their pants are usually $100 to $130. I have one of their $250 um, puffer jackets. 
I have several hoodies that are like $120 hoodies. And for me, all of those price points absolutely make sense because the quality of the material is there. The third and final thing that you should really think about when building your minimalist closet is what can I buy the least of and it fits every single outfit. So what I'm going to be showing you today is how I would build a minimalist closet through Built Basics. And the one reason that I chose to do this brand first is because it's a brand I love, but also all of their clothes are in colors that match everything they have. So whether you're buying athletic shorts, um, you're buying uh, uh, jogger pants, you're buying sweatpants, you're buying a hoodie, you're buying a bomber jacket, a district jacket, underwear, socks, they have shoes, hats. Everything they have is in tones and colors that go with each other. So that's really how you have to look at your closet. If you take one pair of pants, every single top that you have should go with those pants and look good. If you have a pair of shorts, every single one of those should be able to fit. I've limited myself to about three to five pair of pants, so two pair of sweatpants and then three random pants. I have eight shirts, which is a little weird, but two of those are tank tops. Um, and then I have hoodies. I have two hoodies in two different colors. I have this overshirt and then I have one jacket. And every single thing I have matches and goes together. So no matter what I pull out in a day, everything goes. And I, it's not like I'm having one outfit where I can only wear this top and these bottoms with these particular shoes because that's not a minimalist closet. Everything should complete your closet and go together. So let's go into pants first. So let's build from the bottom up. Now, shoes, since they're at the bottom, are completely up to you. Think about, once again, things that match and things that match the area that you're in. This is all gonna kind of be relevant to where you live. If you live in South Florida, the chances of you wearing a pair of Thursday boots, probably pretty slim. Whereas if you live in Colorado or North Washington or Oregon, the chances of you wearing um, a pair of like white Adidas nomads in the middle of winter, probably pretty slim. So pants, the two pants I'm gonna be showing you today is one, the first ever pair of pants from belt that I built my closet around. And that was the everyday 2.0 pants. I love these pants so much. They get so much use. So let's look at those. The second pair of pants is something new that Belt just dropped and I had to I had to buy them because I wanted to show you all these pants. Um, I love joggers. I could build an entire outfit around joggers. Now, I don't work in the corporate field, so I don't have to wear a suit or anything like that. I can show up to work in my joggers. And these are the Ace joggers. They come in two colors and I absolutely love how these pants feel and fit. So let's look at those. So tops, how do you build a closet around tops. Well, once you've chosen your pants 
and you know what colors you're going with, then you can start choosing the colors and styles of your tops. Now, once again, this is going to fully depend on whether you're in corporate America working in jobs where you have to wear, you know, button downs with ties, or is this a job where you can wear a t-shirt? For me, I can wear a t-shirt to my job. I can wear a hoodie to my job. I don't have to wear any of the button downs. Now, Belt does provide polos, long sleeve button downs, and short sleeve button downs in their executive line. And I've heard nothing but great things about them. I don't personally own any, so I can't give you that, that definite buy these from here because I just don't know. But for tops, I love the drop cuts. With a pair of joggers and a pair of Adidas Nomads, these things look amazing. I go with their Lux Blend because I love the way it feels and the way it looks. And all of my t-shirts are in black except for this one, which is in gray, because I like to be a little wild sometimes. No, I, I know, I know. All of, my, all of my closet is black. Everything I own is black. This is even black. It's kind of like a charcoal, so it's a little bit lighter. But that's my color. That's how I've built my closet. So let's take a look at the Lux Blend drop cut t-shirts. Now the other thing that I've built my closet around is two, and I'm looking at the colors, there's three colors, two of the three colors of the core hoodie. The core hoodie usually runs for $100, it's on sale right now for $49, and with the link in the description below, you can get 10 more dollars off, so $39 for the hoodies. Two of the hoodies is less than one at full price. I love these core hoodies. I have the OD Green and the black. They're amazing. I can wear them with anything. So let's take a look. Now, this, I own one of these in charcoal. This is the Coastal Overshirt. Um, this runs for $115, regular price. It's on sale right now for $86. And again, with the link, you get $10 more off. You give $10 back to me, you kind of help out. I love this jacket um, with a nice pair of pants and a pair of boots. So for me, I do own now that I went back and looked at my closet, I do own one pair of black jeans, not from Belt, but this thing looks amazing with a pair of slim fit jeans, a nice pair of winter boots, and a beanie or a hat or anything. Um, wear it to dinner, wear it to the office. It looks great. And I'm not going to show you this because, well, I have it on. It's super high quality and it is so warm living here in Denver. I can wear just this out in the snow and I know I'm going to be warm. The last thing for tops is jackets. A lot of people don't think about this, but you have to think about what jacket is going to look good with, with what I wear. Well, that's where I would say, once again, that's going to be totally dependent on where you live. If you live in South Florida, you're probably not wearing a jacket very often. And if you are, it's not going to be the same jacket that you're wearing here in Colorado. For me, though, for anyone, really, in, in a colder environment, I love the, the puffer jacket from Belt. It's a little bit pricey, and it does run a little bit small. I have noticed that. I ordered two sizes up 
from the size I usually wear. And it, it's still just a little, a little snug. So I don't know where the sizing is on that, but the jacket is a drop cut. It runs for, prices drop to $200. Um, it is on sale right now for $149. So again, with the discount, you get that for $139. And I wear this jacket all the time now. It's so warm. I end up having to take it off when we drive anywhere because it just gets so hot. So let's take a look at that. So there you have it. Right now we're gonna go and we're gonna look at the Belt Basics underwear. No, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna do that. Nobody wants to see that. I don't wanna see that. But they are insanely, insanely comfortable. They're pretty cheap and they hold up insanely well. Their socks are also incredibly comfortable. I own two hats, I own the beanie and I own uh, just one of the black trucker caps. Um, I like the beanie. I'm not a huge fan of the trucker cap. It sits a little high on my head, and I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of that. The one thing that I do love about that hat that I wish other ones would do is there's actually two small elastic pieces on the side that you really can't see, but when you put your glasses on top of your hat, it slides in there. So no matter what you're doing activity-wise, your glasses are not gonna fall off the top of your hat. I can't tell you how many times I've scratched really expensive sunglasses or eyeglasses because I put them on my hat, I bend down, they fall, they scratch on pavement or whatever. With the belt hat, that doesn't happen. And it's considerably cheaper than a lot of really nice uh, trucker style hats that you can find out there. But for me, that's how I build a minimalist closet. I follow those three rules and then for me it's just it's just a bunch of research and it's been a bunch of trial and error so that's why i brought you this video because i really wanted to help people out that are looking to to limit what's in their closet i remember before i started in minimalism i had so many clothes and i could only wear this shirt with these pants and blah, 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 blah. And if something was in the wash, then it was like, well, I really want to wear those pants, but I can't because that shirt's in the wash and it doesn't go. And so that was really a driving force for, for creating this, this lifestyle of minimalism for me. And I really think this being the first brand that I'm tackling, I really think Belt has, has built an entire clothing line around the concept of being able to take a pair of pants and a couple shirts and build an entire closet around that. Now, once again, if you want $10 off, use the link in the description below. I do get $10 back, so that helps me to continue buying their clothes, to continue reviewing them for you. That's what I've done with the Ace Joggers. That comes from kind of the affiliate marketing that I'm doing. Um, and I'm not in their affiliate program. This is just a referral program. So you can do this also. If you have 10 friends and you send them these referral links and they buy something, you have $100 now to spend on clothes to build your minimalist closet. It, it's a great program. Um, I, I love it. And that's why I'll link it in the description below. So if you like today's video, you like this, this idea of building a minimalist closet and maybe not just reviewing clothes, leave, leave a link or a comment or whatever those things are down below and uh, we'll tackle some other brands and we'll make sure that we're really, we're really diving in and, and giving you all the best knowledge and a tool belt to go out and build your own minimalist closet. Make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell because we are back to uploading on a fairly normal schedule. See you in the next one.
Thank you.